What's up y'all let's jump right into this chip bag tutorial we're gonna be in microsoft word so you're gonna open it up and open up a new document and then you are going to go to layout and then you will hit orientation and click on landscape and once you have your canvas and the landscape mode you're going to save your document type in whatever you're going to name it and save Okay, now once you have that saved, you're going to start working on your template. So you will go to Insert, and you will go to Shapes, and select a square, and make any size square on your canvas. And now we're going to size it, so your length will be 6.44, Enter. And your width will be 2.52, enter. And then we're going to just move it over a little bit and you will hit, you will, sorry, right click, copy, right click, paste. And just move that over to the side for later. And again, right click copy right click paste now for your middle square you are going to it's going to stay the length of 6.44 but your width is what's going to change so that width is going to be 5.45 enter and then you just piece them together like a puzzle. Make sure they all line up together. And then we will go back to insert, back to shapes, and select another square. And you will make any size rectangle on your canvas. And this length will be 0 0.67 enter. And your width will be 10 point four nine enter and you're going to line that one up and you will right click copy right click paste and bring that one to the bottom and this is your template for your chip bags Okay, now that we have our template, we can start designing this bad boy. So, we will color in, do a shape fill. So, you will make sure that you are on your shape format. And make sure that your shape is selected and you will hit shape fill. And just color in whatever color your heart desires. Okay, we're going to go with purple. And you select what shape you want to color in and you will do whatever color you want and you can also you can either like this is your front piece you can color it in or you can fill the whole shape so you will go to shape fill and instead of colors you will go to picture and in pictures you will just select wherever you have your images saved and you would click on what you want your background to be, what your fill to be and select it and insert it. And that will become your background. That will become your whole shape, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to color it in with a color and start designing. Okay. I'll so continue. we're going to bring designing. the picture in make sure you're on your inserts and you're going to go into picture and picture from file and this will bring you again to wherever you have your images saved 
and we're going to pull our image in this way and this way you can move it around it won't become your whole shape so i'm going to bring this in and it is behind everything so while it's selected you will make sure you go to wrap text and select in front of text and that'll bring your image to the front and then you just size it and put it where you want I'm going to play around with it a bit. I always like to tilt things, give it a little lean, and just mess around to your own liking. This is how you, whatever you want to do. And to get images, Google is your best friend. You go to Google and you will type in whatever theme you're doing and you will put in the PNG. And you will go to images. Once you're in images, here's a cool hack. You will hit tools. And then you will go to color and down to transparent. And this will make sure that all your images that pop up are PNGs. Everything has a transparent background. And then you just scroll until you find something you like. And you will save it to your computer. You will right click, save image as, and save it to wherever you save your images. Okay, for my tutorials, I'm just gonna save everything to my photos so I can get to it with no problem. I know where everything is. saved you will go to pull it into your design and for some reason this didn't want to save to my photo so i'm just going to pull it in another way same steps photo photo um by files and i'm just going to go to my recents and i will pull it in this way i want to i want the white background not the transparent background because Sometimes that's hard to clean up in Word. So I want this one that has the all white. And I'm going to pull that one in. And remember, it's behind. So you will go to Wrap Text and select In Front of Text. And this is going to bring your image to the front. And to clear that up, because even though it's a PNG, sometimes it doesn't come in. Like that with um, word so you would just click color and then you will go all the way to the bottom and select color transparent and click on that background and it cleans it up kind of took out well it did take out the white from her eyes as well but it's all right no one's gonna be bothered by that and you just Put it where you like it and keep on designing. And to get your words in, you will go to Word Art. And I always click on the very first one. And it pulls up a little box. And I start typing my message or whatever it is that I want to write right in there. So... What are we putting for this one? Thank you so much for having fun with us. I don't remember what I wrote down. Thank you for having so much fun with us. Okay. And then once you finish your whatever you're going to write, you're just going to um, put that wherever you want it on your chip bags. I usually put it to the back. the two blue um two blue shapes those are your back panels and the one in the middle is your front of your chip bag so once you have it in there you will just hold down shift and select every word until it's highlighted 
and then you can right click and then you will select fonts. And once you select fonts, my computer was moving slow. <laughs> I don't know what was going on, but this will pop up and this is where you can change your fonts. You can change the color, the sizing. You can change the color on, on your regular format as well. But I'm just going to look for whatever font it is that I want. And I get all my fonts from dafont.com, D-A font.com. So if you don't have it in your system already, you could just go there and tons of fonts for you. Right, and you change your sizing if you want. And you will select it here and then just fit it in how you want it to be. And to change the color of your text, you will make sure you are in your shapes formats and you will look for your my um my canvas wasn't my full screen so you just find where it says text fill and that's where you change the color so whatever color you want it to be make my screen bigger and just keep designing now you don't have to do what I'm doing. This is just me messing around with it for you guys for this tutorial. But you just have fun. Just keep going until you like it. If you mess up, just take that out and put something else in. This is how you want it to be. And that's the fun of it. So just make sure you're having fun. Okay, so... Here's another way to clean up images. Oh, sorry, not there yet. I'm just showing you guys how to get your nutrition facts. You just go to Google and you would type in birthday nutrition facts and there are tons there. And the same for the barcodes. Birthday barcodes pops up. Tons for you to choose from. And you would just do... The same with the other images. You will find what you like and select it and then save it to your computer. You will right click, save image as, and bring it, save it wherever you save your images so you can pull it into your design. Okay, so for this last image I'm going to be bringing in, I'm going to show you another way how you can clean it up. Because as you see, when I bring it in and I bring it in front of text, this is the transparent background, like the little checker background I was telling you about that doesn't really always clean up so well in Word. So you see, that's just a mess. <laughs> and... It's just too much to, to work with. So here's another way you can deal with that. We just scratch that whole image from out of there. Right click it and cut it. And it's gone. And then you just go to Google. And you will type in remove background.
And once you're in remove, make sure you're in all, not in images. And it will pop up. Make sure you click the one that has remove BG. And you select that. And you will go to upload images. And you will just select where you have your image saved and pull it in. Once you have your image selected that you wanted and it's in there, it's doing its job, it just cleaned it all out. So it even cleaned out the little white specks in the balloons that I actually wanted, but that's fine. So you would download your cleaned image and you will save it to where you want your images saved. Once that's all done, you will go back to your design and you will pull it in, go to insert, you go to picture, photo from file, and you will go to wherever you have it saved at and you will pull in your cleaned image now. It's a PNG without the checkered background. And again, while it's selected, you will go to wrap text and select in front of text. And there's your clean image. And you just size it. And this chip bag is about done, y'all. Okay, that's about it for this one. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Let me know what more you want to see. I'm just starting out, but there is so much more to come. Uh, let me know if you want to see a tutorial for these chip bags done in Silhouette Studios because that's mainly what I use. So we can do a tutorial on there and I can also do a tutorial on how to assemble them. So just let me know in the comments what you want and I got y'all. Oh, I almost forgot. So once you're finished with your editing and your design is complete, you just want to go and click all of your shapes, not your images or your words, just your shapes, your, your template, basically. And once you get all of them, you will hold down shift and click select all of them. And then you will right click and you will hit group. And then you will make sure you're in your shape format and you will go to your color fill and you will hit no outline. And that just takes away the outlining and it will also give you another chance to make sure that your template is lined up correctly. If you see any gaps like I have here, you can just click on that where it needs to be fixed and correct it and then you're ready to print. So thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. And like I said, there's so much more to come. Also, you can catch me on Facebook with my Facebook group. It's called The Crafty Hustle. So I do lives in there and we just try to help each other out. So hope to see you. Thank you. Peace out.